Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go ahead and resolve if you're coming across a team viewer error that is not ready, check your connection error. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just soft click on the start button one time. Type in control panel. Best match to come back with control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to category view and then select network and internet. Select view network status and task. Underneath whatever internet is right over here that I'm circling, you want to just go ahead and type on it. Should be a hyperlink in here. Select the properties option. Select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 and go ahead and select the Properties button once again. Now you want to select the Use the following DNS server address for the second area here and you want to type in 8 in the first selection followed by another 8, 8, 8. So you want to do four 8's in a row here evenly spaced. Just don't type them all in one of these areas. You want to space it out. And then for alternate DNS server, you want to do 8844. And when I say dots, don't type in dots, just type in 8s and 4s basically. This is going to be the Google DNS server address, by the way. So you're more welcome to verify that online if you choose to do so. But again, 8.8.8.8. .8 and then the alternate is 8.8.4.4. Select OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Close out of all of that. Restart your computer and hopefully it has been able to resolve your problem. One more thing you can go ahead and try would be to open up the start menu once again. Type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK space reset, R-E-S-E-T. So again, NETSH space WINSOCK space reset. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that command. It should take a moment here. You will need to restart your computer, which I would recommend doing. And then once you restart your computer, attempt to open up TeamViewer again, and hopefully your connectivity issues have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.